Good morning guys, another video from Rage RC. I've had numerous requests for this center diff swap that I did on the shredder. Um, basically what I did is I ordered all the stuff for an Arma Creighton 6S BLX center differential setup. Uh, the parts that I ended up using are not available, all of them, some of them are still available. So basically it's going to sit in your center diff mounting brackets exactly the same as the original stock shredder differential would sit. There is no difference whatsoever in how it fits. It fits in there directly. There is some modifications I had to do because I didn't find the correct bearing size. So what I ended up doing was I built a tool to make the holes where the bearings actually sit in the plastic one millimeter larger around. That's the only difference really that I did. Um, and I had to take one millimeter off of how deep they went into the actual plastic because I ended up with five millimeter bearings instead of four millimeter bearings width wise. So what I mean by that is the width of the bearing, the actual thickness of the bearing is supposed to be four millimeters. They are 18 millimeters outside diameter, which is here. And they <clears throat> are 12 millimeters here. Okay. So the, the bearings that you have to order are eight millimeters on the inside, 18 millimeters on the outside and four millimeters wide. If you cannot find those, you can build yourself a tool like I did and bore out the hole in the, in the plastic diff case, um, bracket itself. So the tool that I ended up using is basically a stone. It's a grinding stone. This used to be uh, chamfered at an angle. So I went ahead and took it over to my bench grinder, stuck it in my drill, and I shaved it off so it was flat. And actually it's kind of dished a little bit. It's not completely flat so that the outside here has a nice place to cut the plastic. You can still see the plastic from where I bored it out. So basically what I did is I took my calipers and I measured my bearing for how big around it was on the outside and I was 18.98 millimeters, which is almost 19 millimeters. So I put this in the drill and I ran it back and forth on the bench grinder right here until I got it to the right thickness all the way around, which was 18.9. So I had a tiny bit of movement so I could put them in the, the carrier case brackets a little bit better, the center diff brackets. Um, once I got that all completed and I knew that I was going to be able to install the center differential, I went ahead and I put it together. Now, there are some things that you have to do. On the Arma differentials, the output drive cups are different. They're a little bit different size on the ball end, and the pens are a little bit different size. They're very close, but they don't fit the shredder drive shafts from the front and rear, you know, from center to front and center to rear drive shafts. They're a little bit different. Um, so basically what I did is I took the stock Red Cat Shredder differential all apart, which I have here. If my camera will focus, I will show you this. So basically, you take your four screws out to hold your differential together. You slide the main gear off, and you pull this pin, and you slide the diff cup out. The differential cup will fit in the Arma center differential. Now there is a little bit of a difference here. Red Cat uses a plastic spacer cap, which sits right here, like this. And then you have the gear that sits over top. Whereas Arma, this entire piece is one solid piece. It doesn't have the cap. The cap is actually part of the gear and your bearing will sit right here on top. It basically looks like this end, just part of the gear. So on the Arma aftermarket, differential carrier what I ended up doing was I found the bearings that were the closest that I could find which ended up being 8 by 19 by 5 instead of 8 by 18 by 5 but like I said I made them work um, and you basically pull the pin slide your diff cuff out of the actual plastic case here same on this side you pull the center gears out pull all the spider gears out Pull the main gear, which is this gear, off of the bottom inside of here, and you pull the pin and slide your diff cup out. These diff cups fit directly into the Arma 6S BLX carrier and on the gear side. So what you'll have to order is you're going to have to order 
the carrier, the gear, all the guts inside, and then you put the Arma, or I'm sorry, you put the Red Cat Shredder differential cups in the Arma carrier and gear. It's really, really simple, guys. It is cut and dry. It is the same exact procedure as taking apart your center differential in the other videos that I've shown and adding your, your spacers, putting different washers in there so that you get a little bit more mesh in there. But instead of using the Red Cat stuff, since they don't offer a aluminum upgrade or an aluminum cap, I went ahead and went with the Arma stuff just because it's readily available. It's not that expensive. I think I've got maybe 60, 70 bucks in everything that's including, and I bought it all separate. They do sell an aftermarket Arma Center differential that comes complete. It comes with the carrier, it comes with the, the gears, and it is aluminum. And you can order that whole entire setup, pull the Red Cat diff cups out, slide it inside of the Arma stuff, but you would also have to get the Arma gear that has the solid piece in the center and the bearing. So basically you put your bearings together, stick it all together like normal. Um, you do have to have the Arma gasket that helps with your gear mesh. You can't just put it together, it'll be too tight, it'll basically be locked up, plus you're going to lose all your fluid. So, that's how I did it. I put it all together, I've ran this truck, I've ran it hard, I've ran it on 6S, and I haven't had any center differential problems whatsoever since then. So, just so you all are aware, the part numbers that I used are as follows. Um, the bearings are a, I don't know how to say that, Vikey. 698 2RS. They're 8x18x5, but they are actually 8x19x5, so you'll have to modify them. If you want some of these bearings, I, I thought they came in a package of 1. They came in a package of 10, and I bought 2 packages. So I have 18 bearings left over. If you guys would like some of those, um, leave it in the comments, and when I'm out of them, I'm out of them. I'm going to keep 2 for myself just in case I have to replace one on my center diff setup that I have now. Um, I used the Hot Racing Aluminum Carrier Case from Amazon. The part number is A0N1101 for the Creighton 6S. I used the Armored Diff Gear Set also off the Amazon, which is an AR310436. And I used the Hot Racing Spur Gear. Um, mine is a 50-tooth Hot Racing Spur Gear. I've seen a lot of guys have problems with these where they are, are breaking off. So I didn't want to recommend that for you. I'm waiting for mine to break. I'm gonna go ahead and order the energy anyways. But uh, apparently they come apart where the holes are at. I haven't had a problem yet, but when I do, I would rather have you guys have the, the better upgrade rather than the hot racing if there is gonna be problems with those. So I looked it up for you guys. The energy part number is C28809. It's a 52 spur for the Armor Creighton 6S BLX. Uh, one thing I would like to note is there is enough room in here to run the 50 tooth without doing any modifications to the chassis or to the top plate, the center top plate. I didn't have to cut anything to make that gear fit. Everything fit in there perfectly. The only thing that I did is what I explained earlier in the video where I opened up the holes for the bearings for the center diff. Other than that, it's as simple as getting an Arma Creighton 6LS complete differential if you would want, like to go that way with an aluminum one. Pop it apart, pull the diff cups off of a Red Cat shredder, slap them in there, put it all back together. You don't have to worry about different shims or anything. It fits exactly the same. They are identical inside. The only difference from the Arma case and the Red Cat case, even the gears will fit from one to another. They're Like I said, they're, they're spot on. They're exactly the same. The only difference is Arma uses little steel pieces on the end that are wider so they won't fit the the red cat stuff won't fit down in there which is fine because the arma gears are a little bit tougher anyway and the other difference is the hole spacing the hole spacing from here to here the actual uh, width of the hole spacing is one millimeter wider on the arma so it will not fit the red cat stuff it, it, that, that is why i went ahead and, and did a complete changeover on the entire unit because my initial goal was to use the hardened um spur gear that I ordered from Red Cat because I got three of the damn things and just use one of the Arma gears or I'm sorry one of the Red Cat gears I wanted to use the Red Cat cap but it wouldn't work so I went ahead and ordered the entire set like I said everything is separate again here are those part numbers I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for a moment again so if you guys want to pause the video you can go ahead and write all those part numbers down as of right now as of today this morning every one of these is in stock um, I, I put on here where they're from and everything. That way, if you want them, you can get them. So, anyhow, I hope this helps you guys a lot.
with upgrading your red cat shredder differentials. Um, I am hoping very soon to have the problem solution to the differentials on these trucks. I have a gentleman um, that's a really good friend of mine. He works at a hobby shop, but he's also a machinist. He's, he does a lot of custom machining stuff. He's got a differential case for me for a red cat shredder, Caldera. Earthquake 80, I, I know they fit a couple other trucks, I'm not sure which ones, but he's going to be building us aluminum differential cases. So you won't have that flex inside of the case where the pinion gear comes in and drives against the spur gear. Or, you know, that's the biggest thing, not the spur gear, the pinion and ring gear. Um, so you won't have that flex, you won't have that bearing failure in the pinion shaft where it comes in in the main gear and spins that ring gear. That's the problem is inside of the differential, it has so much power when you switch it over to 6S that it actually melts the plastic a little bit and pitches the gear up so it chews up the ring gear and the pinion gear. So he's gonna make that out of all aluminum for us. Once that is done, once those parts are built, I'm gonna be putting them on my um, Rage RC Facebook page and I will go ahead and, and probably sell them if there's something that anybody wants. So keep in touch with me. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope this helped eliminate some of the stress on how hard it is to sw twist this over. It's really not complicated, guys. It's pretty much the same cut and dry differential swap or setup that you would do normally. If you can find bearings that are actually 8 by 18 by 5 or by 4 millimeters, that's what they're supposed to be. 8 by 18 by 4 millimeters, they will match exactly what the red cat bearings do and they'll slide right in there so if you guys got a hobby shop close to you somebody that can get those for you and you find a part number please leave that part number in the comments for anybody else that might be interested in switching this over and they don't want to go to the hassle of trying to machine out those holes um please leave those in the comments i really really would like to find those bearings i couldn't find them anywhere my local hobby shop didn't have them he said he could order them but it was going to be like a month to get them and I believe they were fast eddy bearings. <clears throat> so anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Smash the bell, guys. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up for you real, real soon. Um, we're going to be doing some bashing videos, some speed run videos. I'm going to be tearing apart a tiny little Exceed RC, switching it over to brushless. We're going to be doing that. I'm going to be rebuilding the front of the Red Cat Volcano and all the suspension parts so you guys can see that. I'm also going to explain switching over differentials to aluminum on that because they are readily available. Um, hopefully, hopefully... I can keep going for everybody. I can get all the, the hard stuff figured out so it's a little easier for you guys to do your repairs. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm absolutely willing to do what I can um, to get the information for you guys. Anyways, you guys have a good day. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.